Hi everyone, my name is Xavier, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can define classes in TypeScript. So let's get going. Okay, so here I am back in Visual Studio Code, and let's write our first class. So if you're not familiar with object-oriented programming, you might want to look into that before you watch this video. So now I'm going to assume that you know what object-oriented programming is and that you have some basic knowledge about classes and objects. So let's say I want to make a class for animal. Traditionally, JavaScript has a prototype-based uh, class system, which is very confusing. But with TypeScript, you can use a syntax that is much more related to other languages like Java and C Sharp. So to create a class in TypeScript, you can use almost the exact same syntax. Just type class animal and then open brackets. And there is our class. So let's now give our animal class some attributes. So we're going to say that our, our animal has a name, which is of type string. And we're also going to give it a constructor. And this constructor will receive the name of the animal, which is obviously of type string. And all this should do, oops, not sting, but string. And all this should do is say this dot name equals the name that was passed along with the constructor. So this is a very simple class in TypeScript. Now let me give you a tip. You saw that I had to type constructor fully, but in Visual Studio Code, it also has some shortcuts. So if you type ctor and then hit tab, it will actually create a constructor for you. So that's pretty nice. I'm going to remove this again because we already had one. Now let's make our animal do something. Let's add a method. Let's add the walk method to make our animal walk somewhere. And this will receive a distance, for example, as a parameter that will receive that will be of type number. And then it will log something to the console and say, hi, my name is plus the name of the of the animal. And then say, and I'm walking. And I'm walking and then add the distance to that so many meters. Okay, so now we've created a simple class with a constructor and a method and also a attribute. Now notice that there is nothing in front of name here. And this signifies that this attribute is actually a public attribute. Anyone can access the attribute name. Now, in this case, name is really only something we will use inside uh, this class. So I can also make it private and you can also make attributes protected. So let's go ahead and try this out to instantiate a class. Let's create a variable for, let's say, my animal. And all you have to do is say new animal and in the constructor, again, uh, Visual Studio Code helps us out here. It says that it expects a name of type string. So we're going to call our pet or animal Dave. And now if I say my animal dot walk, it will actually call this piece of code uh, right here. I actually have to provide some distance. So let's say Dave should walk 10 meters. So let's try this code to see if it works. I'm going to open up the terminal. I'm going to compile the main file and then I'm going to run it. Oops, main.js. And there you can see it outputs, hey, my name is Dave and I'm walking 10 meters. So that's pretty great. So the syntax for creating classes in TypeScript really looks a lot like the syntax of Java or C Sharp. Now, I've shown you how to create a class, but we can also extend classes just as we can in Java and C Sharp. So let me show you how that works. So let's say I want to create a class for snake. But snake is basically a type of animal. So snake should inherit all the properties and attributes and methods of the animal class. So now I can say uh, class snake extends the animal class. And now automatically the snake class will have everything that is defined here in the animal class. So I don't have to retype the private name property. So now I can redefine my constructor. I can say constructor gets a name, which is of type string. And all this should do is call the parent class with the name. So what this will do 
is this will call the parent class animal. It will call its constructor with the name that was passed along to our snake. So basically it will just set the property name to the correct value. And now we can define other methods for snake. So we can say a snake hisses, for example, and we can also overwrite methods from our parent class. So we can say walk distance number and snakes don't really walk. So we can say console log snakes don't really walk. There you go. And then there's one more thing that I also want to mention, and that is abstract classes. Now in our example here, you can't really create a new animal. An animal is always a snake, a dog, a giraffe, whatever. But there is never an animal that is, you know, just an animal. So what we can do to prevent people from instantiating our animal class is say that this is a abstract class. And that means that you cannot instantiate the animal class, but you can extend it and create other animals with it. So class snake will still work and we will be able to create a new snake instance. But this right here, creating a new animal, just an animal, doesn't really work. So that was it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how you can use functions in TypeScript. And I'll also talk about how TypeScript solves a common mistake made in JavaScript. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.